Welcome back to Next Level Rides. I know I'm a little bit younger and more handsomer and funnier version, but you're stuck with me today, I'm sorry. With the new CAN TCU update that went on, we've got quite a few messages about the DCT variant and the BRAP uh, and everything Ken's kind of changed and how you go about doing it. it. Seems like people are running into issues with it. Um, so we'll, we'll kind of go over it, show you how to do it, the proper procedure and uh, kind of all the prerequisites that go along with it as well. So before we uh, do the flash, I'll go find a nice piece of road here. We'll show you a little bit of a before. We'll flash it and then uh, we'll get into the after so you can kind of see the difference and hear the differences. So now that you've kind of seen the before, uh, we just kind of pulled over here. I'm going to use the cellular data off my phone, connect it to the laptop. We have two cables that are needed. We have one cable for IMPA, and then we obviously have the CAN TCU cable right over here. So I'm going to put screen record on here so you can see instead of staring at the sun and we'll show you how it's done. So to be able to do the DCT variant through CAN TCU with an 8HP, uh, there is a couple things that are prerequisites. For one, sometimes it matters on your engine tune as well. Uh, I was having issues, I actually had to get my tuner to reflash with a couple different options just to allow proper control. So those would be the torque sent by the DME is correct and calculated, torque safety paths are disabled, and torque reduction is left by ignition. Uh, and those will allow you to get the, the BRAP and the fully functioning DCT variant. Another thing is it has to be an MSD-81 and MSD-80 uh, never came with a DCT so it doesn't have the understanding and the logic behind it whereas an MSD-81 is a factory DCT DME. So on the IMPA side, what we're gonna do is we're gonna make sure we have battery on, ignition on, as you can see both are blacked out. I am then gonna hit Shift F2 I'll use the mouse here so you can watch. So E90, we'll go to engine. We will go to MSD80. Now you're gonna see all these, they're in a different language, um, but the ones that you're gonna wanna make sure is F8, which is selective something. Um, what it actually means is reset specific adaptations. So we're gonna hit that. After that, we're just gonna hit F8 again to reset learned variants. You'll get that little uh, message there. When you see the message on the bottom left, that just means it's all good to go and uh, things were reset. Press F10 to go back. And then after that, just to make sure, we can go to F4 to read the fault codes. And the one where you're gonna wanna push is F1 to read. Perfect, so there's the fault codes, uh, nothing really alarming. These are based off of other stuff that's not important. And then we are just gonna hit F5 to clear the codes. Okay, there we go. We can now close IMPA and we can also disconnect it. Now on the CAN TCU side, we're gonna wanna go to configuration under car ECU protocol, we're gonna to wanna to hit setup and you'll see DST variant coding. So right here, you're just gonna switch this over to enabled. Close this. Save configuration, yes. And now we're just gonna hit update. And that's it. After that, I'm just gonna to go to diagnostics, read codes. We might have a bunch of codes, which is fine. We'll clear them. Clear, I'll go for it again. There you go, and two. no fault codes found. So after this, make sure you uh, cycle the key, let it do its thing for a couple minutes uh, before you go drive. Let it adapt a little bit, and that's it.
So now that you've seen the before and after of the new DCT variant that Can TCU added, I'm gonna hit the road, I'm gonna go have fun, make some brap noises in front of the Volkswagens, show them who's king, and uh, they'll be sure to hear from the back while they're seeing my taillights. Bye, have a good time. <laughs>